Welcome to the Punters Punter Show. How are you, Dave? Very well, mate. Yourself? You in a good mood today? Absolutely. Looking forward to having a bit of healthy discussion. Healthy discussion. Uh, should we talk about laser of the day, or we're not going to go there? Uh, we can talk about laser of the day if you like. Yes. No, let's just move on. Okay. Uh, race one is a twelve hundred for three year olds. What do you like here? Uh, I like the form around less of image. I'm surprised how short it is now. Open 190, now into 175. Scorn Saxon, it, it beat well at uh, Bunbury. Scorn Saxon came out and came from last and won very, very well on Wednesday. Third was Buster Bill. The fourth horse was like six lengths away. 110.19 at Bunbury is very, very fast. I've got it clearly on top. Probably not as short as the market has it, but. Uh... Very smart horse based on that run. Yeah, yeah, and it's first start in the race as well. Certainly very impressive. It deserves to be favour. I have it short, but not odds on. Uh, right time I had is the, the as second best. Uh, he's getting a good bit of value now, six dollar fifty. Uh, it just concerns me a little bit the twelve hundred with right time. He's failed at it once before, um, but I think that was at the end of his prep. Uh, good horse, not convinced. The twelve hundred for me. Screaming Plum should get the front. No, I had the uh, right time leading actually, screaming plum camping, but uh, uh, possibly screaming plum could could hold it out. Yes, yes, I don't like the form around screaming plum that much. Now, what about the bottom weight, Sloan? Uh, they've bet eighty one dollars this horse into thirty fives, best now. Yeah, it should have probably won last start at um, Pinjarra, not the best ride, uh, but this is a lot harder, and it's hard to line up those thousand metre races at Pinjarra. Sneaky place chance. Sneaky I think. place chance, but I think the favourite deserves to be favourite. Probably a bit too short for mine. Charcoal Rose, uh, it's a good price, seven hundred dollars. Um, Fishy's gone off exclusive honour to ride. I'm assuming we've got the choice to ride exclusive honour. He's chosen to ride Charcoal Rose. He did most of the good races last campaign, so worth a look. Race two. Here's a mile race, plenty of pace. Uh, Machino should just be unbeatable here. Should be unbeatable. Can I tell me this? What price would Rosie Rocket be in this race? Not sure. Yeah. It was a, a very impressive last night. Mowed him down, came from last in the corner. Very smart horse. Uh, but this is a lot harder. I know that it's well weighted to compete that horse in the race, but. Uh, I can't be calling it a good thing, and uh, at the 170 is a definite risk for me. I'm calling it a good thing. Okay. This race is over. Um, the one that's over the odds for me is Grey Monarch. Um, $13 they're betting. The pace is going to come from Rocky Range, Premadale, even Governor Guru. And Wolf Dreams. There's good pace in the race. Uh, Machino should just tack on the back of these, pull to the outside and go whoosh. That's the way I see it. A little bit short at the 170 now, price it a bit longer, but... We're boogies, you know. What's that mean? Well, we've got to lay the shorties, don't we? Okay. You're the same price as me. Uh, should win, but no good thing in my mind. Probably I don't like at all, and I'll be risking that at second best. Agreed. Uh, the third is an 1100 metre. It's pretty much, um, well, I shouldn't say it's a midweek class race. There, there's a few Saturday horses here. Um, the pace will come from Rebel Waltz, Thunder Lovin', Lizetta. Now, I like Earl of Ass a bit here to swoop on them. I was very impressed with his last run, although that was a day where they were swooping from the back. Has a good turn of foot this horse, uh, suited at the trip. I've got it uh, right up there. Thunder Lovin' should be hard to beat as well, probably a bit short, but he's a bit short every start. Um, they're the main three for me, the main three in the market, which is Lizetta, Earl of Ass, and Thunder Lovin. I do give Desire Path some hope though. I'm not sure of the level of the horse, but there should be enough pace for it to come home. Uh, Miscondition for first up for a new camp. Kelly Grant and Willie Pike. Paul Harvey rode at the trial and he's not riding it in the race. I, it was an okay trial, but it wasn't fast. I'd have to watch it first up. Um, but for me, it's a pretty, uh, pretty much the market looks okay to me. Yeah. Uh, but each way, that's probably the way I'd be hitting at the prices on offer. Race 4 is a 1,462.74. Uh, classy nugget, I thought, ran a fair race last start. I know that we're, we're always tipping this horse out at big prices and the run at Esperance I thought was pretty average. 
um, but it improved somewhat last start. 100 to 1 they're betting this horse. Um, it's a pretty ordinary looking race. Miss Tahitian, I was a big fan of this horse early on. Yes, that's was I. Um, and went right off the boil, but uh, last two runs have been excellent, particularly the last run. I, I know they set it up for it by going hard up front, but gee, she just blew them away the other day. Um, and wide throughout before that, four wide throughout yep. before that. Yeah, coming. It's got to be the one to beat from the good barrier. Um, Six dollars fifty to four twenty already. Variety fair, wide no cover last start, kept kept coming, um, but might need a little bit of luck as well. Um, Disco Bling was very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was on that same day that they were swooping from the back though, so that it may have been a little bit flattered, and it's going to have to come from last again. Anything else you like there? Uh, no, uh, Miss Tahitian I do like, it's too short now though, I think of the price. Um, it's, probably, it's probably too short. Uh, no, the, the regulator needs to go forward this horse, it's not rushing well. Um, I do give zip code some hope if it goes forward last uh, I chance and didn't get a run. Absolutely no chance Over the forward. Over None whatsoever. Okay, I'd have to, I'd have to watch it. I think I might get, uh, get an okay lead here. If we've got an okay lead, uh, it's worth looking There's at. There's probably not much else that can go forward, is there? No. Well, carry the nation used to, but it hasn't been in recent times. Uh, so I haven't done a form this race, but it looks wide-ish to me, with the main ones you mentioned. Plus I'd throw zip code in as well, some sort of chance. What about Bombora down the bottom? <coughs> I can't even see my page, Matt. There you go. Had its chance for Pie me. Icon. Yeah, look, it's been racing keen. They've taken the blinkers off, put the blinkers on. Uh, Pike on board. Has to be a chance, but I bet, I bet it's unders. Apparently, some clown bet 150 to 1 this horse this morning. Some clown. There's only one clown. I don't think I've ever bet that high. <laughs> uh, he's too short, Bombora. It shouldn't be under $5, that's for sure. So, well, he's $5 uh, best at the moment. Yeah, I'll be risking Bombora. There is some sort of chance. Uh, again, I have a correction here with the shorties compared to the longer ones, and you, you'll see those probably a bit more compressed on the day. Horses like you, classy thing, and classy nugget, not 100 to one shots. Um, but a good race. Uh, get on to the exciting races, the St. Ledger. The St. Ledger, the old St. Ledger. It's three, probably four. not that exciting, actually. Uh, <coughs> Voracious will be the favourite here, along with Miss Tipsy Topsy. Now, We've had horses that have had viruses um, and lung infections over the time and uh, we normally tip them out of the paddock for three months because they just don't come up. Miss Tipsy Topsy had some sort of lung infection or viral infection. She's uh, in the St. Ledger two weeks later. Um, I think she's a huge lay. Okay, I've got her equal favourite. I'm assuming that she's, she's right to run um, you I'll would have to give it a last run. I mean, Stan Bates is a good trainer, so you, you would assume, but I don't know. Based on what I know about viruses, I'd be willing to take her on. All right. Well, I've got an eagle favour. I love races tomorrow. I like uh, Lady C and Miss Tipsy Topsy, and I think they're the two that will fight the race out. Keeper's Court, cool. I think I thought I had a chance last start. Um, Lord Hattress, but. It. Uh, it's a chance, but uh, it shouldn't be that short of the market for mine. Roman knows. Query trip. I know it's running around a mile before. Uh, with Bullet on, I don't know if he's going to go back. I think more likely to go forward. I think if he goes forward, he's going to be susceptible here. Um, big Josh is not a $61 shot. <laughs> Sneaky place chance. It's a big price. Uh, Amber's Kingdom not a 151 shot either. You know, there's some big prices in the race. Uh, so. For mine, at the prices, I'll be back in Lady C each way. To be honest, I think it's a, it, it will run the first three. Um, Moonlight, but uh, sorry, Mr. Tostosi, I've, I've got a chance. But again, there is that query over it, so uh, hard to line that up. But the, the, the risk for me is keep us caught. Agree. Completely agree. Uh, the Crawford Stakes. Yes. Now, you'd have a strong opinion on this race. I have got a strong opinion. I've got a strong opinion on, uh, on your horse. My horse? Our horse, whatever we call it. He's been ridden wrong with the last three starts. He's been ridden too cold, he hasn't been ridden for speed, he hasn't been ridden like he's uh, one of the fastest horses in the state, which he is. And uh, that's brought him back to the field on each occasion. 
the day Avanti beat it, it didn't go hard. Avante horses got held up on the rail, Avante just spun at the right time and got up. Words, as you point, rightly pointed out, is one of the best thousand metre horses in the state. If he's ridden for speed and ridden as he can run the fastest thousand metre race in the state, he'll win the race. If he's ridden how he's ridden his last three starts, they'll get over him. What do you like? All fried up. Again, the question mark have ripped. Oh, it's short now. It was long yesterday. It's too short now. All fried up. Uh, I've got a race in, in three. All fried up. Shock value and word. Uh, I think word would be an each way back to nothing yeah, if we re re ridden for speed and ridden as though it's going to lead easy. Let it, let it run rather than uh, try and save it for the last four minutes of the race. I also give Sun Silk a, 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 a smoky chance down the bottom as well. Well weighted. Likes a thousand. Um, don't like anything in between. Henry the Horse through Nile Mara. You can have all those. And Avanti, some sort of chance, I suppose. I, I think shot value and word uh, each way bets to nothing in this race. You could pick either one of those two, whichever you like. Um, shot value is a huge run, wide no cover. Um, in the Colonel Reeves, went down two and a quarter lengths. Um, missed a kick as well that day. But has missed a kick now on several occasions. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, does have a few tricks. Um, I'm tipping word or shock value. I, I sort of agree with what you're saying about word. I think the, the first half of the race is where he loses it. He throws his head, he needs to settle. Um, if, he could, if he could jump along um, without throwing his head, let him slide a little bit in the early part, settle him, um, and then ride him for speed in the, in the straight, I agree with you. He'd be very hard to beat in this. If you made it a straight race over a thousand metres, uh, and so just let him go as fast as you could if he'd win the race. Well, he's capable of running in the 56s, which yeah. probably the rest of these aren't capable of. His last three starts, I know that they were 1,200 metres in the 11 metre races, I think they've, they've tried to conserve energy at the start of the race, and I think that's worked against him. Right. Seven is the CB Cox Stakes 2100. Uh, markets have been up for a while on this race. Ranger is the favourite and should be the favourite, absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, my point with him is he's got some tricks and should he ever be even money? Uh, no. Probably not, no. Um, some of the prices, well a lot of these um, meet him quite badly at the weights. Um, a lot of them are up five and six kilos. Saini Costa, I still can't believe they're betting $31 this horse but does rise six kilos on that run last was day. was the best run of the race in that, in that race that uh, the race has won, I thought. Uh, there's a bit of pace here. Mega Steel has been over racing quite badly. I think the only way to ride this horse is to let him run. And if he goes too fast, he goes too fast. But what they're doing at the moment, grabbing hold of him, is not really working. Uh, Ringmeister should also go forward. Uh, I was a bit of a knock for this last start, and I'm an even bigger knock this week. I don't think he can win a race like this. I agree. The chances um, at double figures for me are Lord's Ransom. Uh, King Cable's a little bit short now. Hasn't done enough. Um, although the ride, the ride uh, last start was terrible, I thought. Took off too early and just gave the horse too much to do. But before that, wasn't doing enough for me. Tranquility, I give a very good chance in this race. Uh, you've got Ranger Clear on top. Do you think it's value at the two, two to two twenty price? Or? Definitely not. I've got it priced uh, in the threes. Um, it's clearly on top, but I've got a price in the threes. I think we'll be laying it anywhere in the twos. My opinion, Ranger. The further the distance gets, the more risk it gets. Double barrel, eighty one dollars. Not a, not impossible. Good run last start. I think they'll probably drop it out again because they. He raced forward the start before and wasn't was pretty ordinary, I thought. Wasn't so uh, dropped right out last week, and uh, he's a good chance at eighty-one dollars. Again, the, the, you know, there's too big a gap here between the first few and the rest, and you'll find that will compress tomorrow. Um, it's quite a good race. King Cape was too short. Uh, it was a good run last start, but uh, uh, Lord's Ransom, uh, you know, it, it's racing okay. It should be hard to beat too. Use draw wide. Bad Lemblin, you can't follow the last run as well. Good race. I think mine's just too short. I'll be risking it again.
Uh, race 8 is the Starstruck Classic, <coughs> over a mile. Uh, the horse that impressed me last start with blinkers on was Rosie Rocket. Chased the speed, Machino could be anything this horse and got over the top of it by less than a length. Um, I think Rosie Rocket will go forward again with the blinkers on. We know Justin Warren can back him up week to week. Uh, $9.50 they're betting. Good it's price. Probably the one for me. Even even a star will get the front, you would think. Uh, Sweet Serenity had no luck whatsoever. Wide no cover last start, so it's worth forgiving as well. Expect Fisher to ride a cold up, obviously. Uh, Morning Mist is out. Yes. That was going to be a lay for me, so I'm a bit disappointed about that. Yes, it does change the race somewhat, doesn't it? Montiara last run, and the best section will have the last. Uh, was an okay run. Uh, Again, that was a day where they weren't really making a lot of ground from back, so it was probably a bit better than what it looked getting beat four and a half. Blink Starlight Lady was a good run last start. Uh, Zavara, any hope? Blinkers on? Uh, average effort last start, I thought. Probably okay. probably can improve. There's a lack of pace up front here, um, which may suit Rosie Rocket um, racing forward. Oh, yes, it was a good run last start. With the blinkers on the first time, and she can do work, so. This would be a chance. Even a star query at the mile for me, even though it's going to lead easy. Better run last star. Big query at the mile for me. Uh, Sweet Serenity, uh, every week it's too short. Um, probably too short again, but uh, always a chance. Alright, on to the last is just a 74 plus 1200. 74 plus, I like the 74 plus races there. Uh, Say Torio, they're backed already. Um, I think it's a nice horse, but it's becoming a bit of a non-winner, Satorio. Um, got absolutely towed up by Latoria and even the Entourage last start. Um, Caves Road is going to be the favourite here. was a decent run, once again on the day where the front runners seemed to be rolling along and, and kept winning. Caves Road surprised me, I thought it was gone halfway up the straight and ended up running second. Dino Mac was a better run last start. Um, I'm here to win is probably the one that is a bit of value here. Twenty six dollars. Big price. Big price. King good horse. Forward. Very good strike rate. Uh, that's probably the value for me. May, and May and Lee too, looking at. And uh, be hard to beat the front, wouldn't it? It would be very hard to beat. Back the front. to its old trainer. Didn't it have a different trainer last campaign? Don't think so. Or was it Steve Wolf? It, it has had a different trainer though, yes, at some point. Uh, yeah, he'd be, uh, he'd be a good chance, I'm surprised, be that sort of price. Yeah. Uh, but the obvious chance to say Tori OK is right, Dino's Diamond. Uh, then I met with the Veteran last time. Cadillac Patso Pike on Nucky Off. Good race for last. I think check the uh, check the pattern of racing, but can hardly miss got back last start on that day that we've been talking about. Made no ground whatsoever. The run before that was excellent. Uh, if they are making some ground, it's a, it's going to be a good price too. Thirty one, thirty five dollars is the best they're betting now. Um, Dante's Diamond. I know you're a bit of a knock for this last start. It was very short. It was going to get the pie run, and you were right. Um, couldn't couldn't make the ground on impatient times. Ran third, which was a fair run. It's got the same weight again, fifty seven. Yep. You're predicting the same result. Uh, I'll do the former first. Uh, for mine, it's hard to see it being Cage Road home on its last run, that's for sure. But then Cage Road is two forty and dollar dollars five fifty. Uh, have to do the race, have to do the, the full form. Uh, but the race looks pretty wide to me. Nothing should be in the twos in this race. No, uh, I got, agree. You've got some nice horses. I'd be tipping uh, at this early stage each way. I'm here to win or say Torio. Yeah, and say so Torio's got some tricks too. Over. Yeah, once it gets past the thousand, it tends to over race and can be a horrible, horrible horse. Having said that, if it jumped to the front here, another day then over twelve and jumped to the front one by five. Yeah. Wouldn't spawn if that happened as well. Something so. may have gone wrong that day because it went for a spell straight after and I don't think it's won a race since. It had speed burn, apparently. Speed, that yeah. Got some wind burn on its eyebrows. Yeah. Good race to last. Uh, hard to find a winner, Cage Road too short. Good meeting. Uh, I'm knocking Ranger without doing the form of the race. <laughs> because I don't think it's a stay up. Uh, I would not be knocking Ranger. I'm 
probably not going to have a lay of the day at this stage. Uh, Miss Tipsy Topsy, there you go, his favourite. I'll be knocking that. Knocking Miss Tipsy Topsy? We've yep. been uh, laying it for the last few starts. I didn't like it tomorrow, but uh, again, there was a query over it based on the, the stewards' report and uh, everything else. Good luck, Good luck, Good luck. See you there tomorrow.